Well, we turn now to tragic events just outside of Ottawa, where one OPP officer was fatally shot and two others injured. Police have arrested one suspect and just this hour released his name. Sean Cowan has been following this story and joined us in studio with the latest developments. Sean. Taz, well, 42-year-old Eric Mueller was shot and killed early this morning after responding to a disturbance call. Now, the OPP commissioner says he, along with his colleagues, were ambushed. And we're here this afternoon to share some details with you of the tragic loss of one of our officers who has yet again been murdered, simply selflessly serving his community. Just after 2 o'clock this morning, three OPP officers were dispatched to a home with sounds of gunshots. This happened in the town of Bougette, which is between Ottawa and Montreal. And upon arrival, three of our officers were ambushed and shot. Tragically, 42-year-old Sergeant Eric Mueller was killed and two other veteran OPP officers were injured. 39-year-old Alain Belfoy was arrested on scene and has now been charged with first-degree murder and two counts of attempted murder. According to the OPP commissioner, Canada has lost 10 officers in the line of duty since September of 2022. He says nine were murdered and five of them were from Ontario. An absolute tragic uh, situation here right now. Uh, my heart is broken, as with, as is you know every member of the OPP. And you know we just had our police memorial on Sunday, uh, and we added uh, so many names to uh, the memorial wall. And, and sadly, now it looks like that list is going to get even higher. Mueller is being described by his colleagues as a coach, a mentor, and someone that everyone looked up to. Eric was an exemplary officer, a family man. He started his career with the Ontario Provincial Police 21 years ago as a special constable in our offender transport unit right here in Ottawa. In 2006, he was hired as a provincial constable. And in 2018, in recognition of his exemplary performance, his dedication to duty, his commitment to his colleagues, he was promoted to the rank of sergeant. As for the two other officers who were shot, one is still in hospital but said to be in stable condition. The other one was released and is recovering at home.